And it's been another week. I'm recording this however on Thursday night because this last month has been crazy. Won't be able to do it on Saturday like I usually do because I just was doing that 25 hour game marathon with my buddy Phil, 40 quarters. You know. This past week we only had one day of shooting and it was Tuesday night. Let's do first shot, last shot. Here was the first shot. R rolling camera. Wait, car coming. Put this down. Put this down. <laughs> Stand in front of it. And here was the last shot. Rolling. Quickly before the train comes 19. back. And that's what they do. Shivering. Action. Yeah. Wonder what's going on there. Anyway, I guess we'll find out when episode 8 comes out in a few months. This week I want to talk to you guys about Google Plus because they're forcing us all to use it somehow. I don't understand it. I don't understand it at all. And I was wondering if maybe you guys could help enlighten me because I went, I logged into my uh, my YouTube as they usually do and they were like, oh, okay, Google Plus to read new comments. You got to link your thing to Google Plus. And then I didn't know what to do. Like they said that I could choose a different name other than Pineapple Boy Films. Um, but Pineapple Boy Films is like what I'm known as on YouTube and Pineapple Boy Productions is actually the name of the production company. So I, I was thinking about going Pineapple Boy Productions, but then that's like super long. I thought about just doing Pineapple Boy, but that, you know, then it, people might not. Anyway, I just left it with Pineapple Boy Films and started a Google Plus page on that. But I don't know what to do with it. What are we supposed to do with Google Plus, you guys? Because uh, I go on there and I look at it and I just, you know, it's... I'm sure people successfully use it all the time. I just so far have not been one of those people. And I don't know why I always had to link my Google Plus to look at look at the comments because when I go over to my Google Plus page, I don't see comments anywhere. Anyway, I solved all of that by going in through the video manager and then going into advanced settings and then finding my inbox through the pop-up list that comes through there and then just you know, setting a bookmark to my inbox so that I can use YouTube as I usually do. Just workarounds. Any good video editor, all they do uh, especially if they taught themselves, is figure out a series of workarounds. How to make everything work for them when they don't know how to actually do it. That's my whole adulthood. Um, it's been a series of workarounds. So this next week we've got a couple shoot nights coming up. Last week was supposed to be Tuesday and Wednesday, but we got all everything that we needed in one night on Tuesday night, which was great, because then it rained on Wednesday night. Would have been miserable to shoot in that, and we didn't have to. Hopefully it's dry this Tuesday and Wednesday, because we've got two shoot nights coming up. I don't think we're going to be able to get everything we need in one that time. Anytime that there's any kind of fighting involved, things take longer. So we're probably going to need both those nights to get all of our choreography down and all of that good stuff. Speaking of the good stuff, did you guys see the Halloween playlist? Good grief! Good times. That behind the scenes of the haunted house was just the coolest and strangely inspirational. Like at the end you're left with this good feeling of community while these people dressed up as like ghouls and and corpses and everything all kind of, it's a community. It was awesome. It's fantastic. I'm gonna do that right here. Here. This is to the Halloween haunted house good stuff. They went to this awesome uh, Statesville Haunted Prison, which is one of the craziest haunted houses in Illinois, and talk to the guys over there. Outstanding. And then right here, things get a little out of hand for Creatures of the Night. And you will see that the two normal humans at the beginning, uh, Travis and Yvonne, both are from Pops. Travis played Bill in Episode 7, and Yvonne is Damon's wife. So it's good. It's good to have the whole community in here. Plus Ryan, of course, who is part of the Mediocre team. David, who has not been in the series yet. We'll see if we can get him in here before the end. And of course, Craig playing Jason. That's really all I have for you guys this week. If you could explain Google Plus to me, I sure would appreciate it. Like, what am I supposed to do with it? I already have Facebook for those things, but they want me to use it as like a Facebook? Is it supposed to be like a wall environment? I don't get it. How do you feel about YouTube forcing us to commiserate in the Google Plus of it all. I guess we've seen the writing on the wall for a long time and now it's just finally go time, pulling the trigger on it. I hope you guys have a great week. Sorry it's so light on content this week. A lot of the behind the scenes stuff that you, I would normally be showing to you is only for donors now um, and they're getting them in unlisted videos to their emails. I will see you guys in a week. Bye.